Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. We're on 56, episode 56 of Austrian Arrogance. Fortunately, we're only 49, so we have, like, you know, at least a year, I hope, to make our people like us again. Why are they so upset? We have Imperial Authority now. They liked me more but earlier. I guess my legitimacy is a bit low. Maybe lower than it used to be. My prestige is capped out. Uh, like, what are you upset about? Oh, I took some aggressive expansion. That's probably what it was. So, yeah, we improve relations with some of the people that are close. Sweden has left the coalition. Are there even people in the coalition anymore? Just the Teutonic Order. That uh, religious idea, better relations over time plus 100%, is making my aggressive expansion just fade away. Look at that. 38 right now. 7.3 a year. It's just like, what? What aggressive expansion? I didn't do anything wrong. Oh, right, and we have enough uh, stuff now. We can enforce religious unity against these guys. Gain six imperial authority for that. Alright, and then... Uh, Gosh, I wish there was an easier way to see member states. Forced religious unity, they're pretty upset about that. On halt. Improved relations 100, improved relations 37. Hmm. We'll get control back. Imperial authority, our legitimacy is going up very quickly. So many controlled cardinals, tons of royal marriages. We have three spare diplomats again. Let's quickly go through my list of relationships, see if we can do anything. So, Bosnia. Well, let's start with Serbia. Serbia is just pissed off about things. They would accept this if we could get them up to 190. Same problem as before. Okay, Bosnia. Why is Bosnia not listed first? Whatever, Bosnia. Uh, we cannot annex you until seven years pass. Okay. England. Couldn't hurt to top off relations with England. It's already pretty well topped off, never mind. Lithuania. You're really too big for me to do much with, aren't you? You're allied with Poland. I allied you just so that you wouldn't be attacking Hungary anymore. Might as well improve relations with you. I mean, it couldn't really hurt. Mazovia is this little guy. For some reason, they're out. They're hostile. I don't understand it. There's absolutely no reason. Released in, released in peace. Plus seventy improved. Really, like what? We're allied. We have a royal marriage. Why are you hostile to me? It's just the dumbest thing. You should be a vassal. <laughs> okay, Poland. Allied with Lithuania and Bavaria. You know, what we want to do, really, is attack attack Poland and get Bavaria. Although Bavaria is, uh, they're the one, they're the right religion. They just have a bunch of stuff they're not supposed to have, or at least some stuff they're not supposed to have. Bavaria, like this one here, Hans, Hans something. Hansbach. Is that it? Just one? All right, well, that seems like a good enough reason to attack them. All right, so how about we ditch the royal marriage with Poland and let's fabricate a claim on something. Ten aggressive expansion if we're caught. Only takes half a year. Yeah, we're going to break off relations with you. Fabricate a claim real quick. We're going to attack Poland and try to get at war with Bavaria. 
Lithuania, your faithful ally, is requesting that you come to their aid in the Lithuanian reconquest of Bryansk against Muscovy, Smolensk, Serbia, Teutonic Order, and Pomerania. This is a war that they've started. Okay, we accept. So that means that we're at war with Pomerania, which is a member state. Pomerania, do you have anything you're not supposed to? No, they don't. Pomerania is the right religion. So there's really not much we can do, and I'm a junior partner in this war, surprisingly. Hey, Lithuania, why don't you uh, let me be the war leader, maybe? Just maybe. Considering I'm, like, huge compared to you. Hmm. I guess we go blow up a few armies. I mean, Muscovy is the only one with any real troops. They're level 10 military tech, eastern tech group. So, we should be fine. This actually made us go to war with Serbia. Interesting. We still have the royal marriage. I guess in that case, we, um... Oh, damn, we're junior partners. That means that I can't do a separate piece with them. I can't do anything good out of this. That's too bad. If we were the senior, if we were the, the negotiating person, we could just force them to become a vassal. But as it is, I think we just break off royal ties as soon as we get a diplomat back. Which won't take too long. Maximilian! Show them what you got, man. Across the river, but yeah, 4.4 is better in every way. Okay, so should we head head up there? I mean, I guess so, right? Let's see, do I have any any commanders that aren't actually leading troops? We got one army. We got one, two, three, four, five. That one's pretty well balanced. Pretty well balanced. Pretty well. Pretty well. They're all pretty good. This one could use more guns. Let's build more guns. Six more cannons for you would put you at seven. Let's also get you another cavalry. A few more of those things. That'll make that pretty army. Or, sorry, pretty big. Pretty army, I can't speak. Don't listen to me. Damn, we've been discovered. That means we just gained ten aggressive expansion. Well, it won't take take long to get rid of. Apparently the Palatinate's really upset with me when it comes to aggressive expansion. Gaining 10, though, I mean, it goes away in a year. I guess we just siege the hell out of Serbia. Do we want to get limited claim fabrication and lose prestige? Or do we want to lose diplo points? I guess the prestige. Prestige is temporary, we gain it back. Just go win a battle. Point five. That was pretty easy. I guess if Lithuania is going to get carpet sieged by Muscovy, maybe I should go help him. Maybe. And I guess we can contribute these guys as well. I can't separate piece anybody out to make the uh, relative strength of the alliance more favorable, but I mean, we have way more artillery, way more infantry, and we're military tech levels ahead, so.
armies are arriving every day. Alright, so these guys are going to be able to take on all this, I'm sure. We're now sieging the not capital of you. I haven't actually started, so I think we just advance. Now let's go up here and beat some people up. Poland? Come on, give me military access, you dummy. Just because I'm fabricating a claim on you. Oh, did we just get our claim? We just did. Come on. Let us through. I know we're going to attack you soon, but uh, seriously, come on. Now you want to attack me. You're, you're actually coming into Ruthenia. Into this area. All right, fine, whatever you say. I mean, if you want to come at us, we've got reinforcements right here. And there's the battle. So he's crossed a river <laughs> into woods. Negative two roll. He's a 1-2 versus a 0-3. But we do have this guy coming, who is a 3-2. Uh, Five more days to reinforce. Pretty big battle. We're in the, we're in the bottom. 3-2 took over. Capped out relations with Castile. Tuscany's trying to steal my guy again. So yeah, very close at first, but now we're going to win pretty handily. We've got a tactics advantage. They actually do have a morale advantage. They took military drill. Gained five war score from that. Um, part of that army I want to chase that way. Still carpet sieging all this stuff. Just to weaken Serbia. I think the 14 stack goes on and takes care of whatever. The larger stack, the 22, is going to advance to chase this one down up to uh, wherever the Teutonic Order lives. Actually, they might be retreating all the way, like, way up there. Taking Serbia. Might of the Austrian Empire is making Lithuania very happy right now. What is the war goal? Reconquest of Bryansk. So, that's the one to go siege then. Taking Zeta. This is just infantry, there's no reason to stack it up on there and suffer more attrition. So we'll just send it home. In fact, we really don't need the, the uh, horses there. We'll keep the infantry just to keep that army safe. It's just, I don't want to leave the artillery unguarded. We want a battle. Serbia just accepted peace, so me sieging all their stuff says that they gave out. Okay. There's that battle down. And now we just have to go and sit on the war goal for him. Looks like he's coming for it though too. We will siege Lithuania a bit. Oh wait, no, this is allied territory. What am I thinking? He's actually not going for the war goal. Oh wow, 45. Alright, sounds like these guys need to go this way, and these guys need to go this way as well. Come at me, bro. I don't think you want this. I don't think you want a piece of this. We're in the plains, marsh, forest, woods. Pretty likely to get a bonus. And there's definitely a river crossing. You can just see the water flowing. 
Come at us. Come on. Looks like he parked some of his own men there. Are you guys coming or not? Stop changing your mind. Just get over here. Smolens is going to be just as bad. No, they, they're, they're kidding. They're not sure. They kind of want to, but not really. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, 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 <laughs> The AI is so dumb. God. All right. Well, I'm going to take a break here. I will see you in the next video, everyone. Thank you for watching. See you again soon.